So here we have a badly damaged Amiga 2000 circuit board. At least it looks badly damaged. It does. So, there is a lot of dirt and sludge along in here and down here. Um, but most importantly, or worst, is the battery. Aha, uh -huh, look, I screwed over the battery, which is right there, is still there. That's not good. Not good. So, I do not have a 68,000 chip right handy. And the one I was in here, I think it almost, this is, by the way, here we have an Amiga 500. This is the one I've been testing. So what I'm going to do, just because there's always a chance, and I hate to think that I would not do everything possible to save a circuit board, I don't believe this is going to work. I'm going to be very careful. By the way, this is how I take chips out. I take a screwdriver. And I very carefully go all the way down, all the way down. Aha, there. Trying desperately not to bend and weaken any pins. So there. Help me. There we have this borrowed. 68,000 chip. And yes, I can see the one pin did try to do something. So as I look at this, there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the socket. So I'm going to do as I usually do. Oh, excuse me. That is not what I usually do. I have the witness mark, this mark right here, corresponding with the witness mark on the socket and I'm going to very gently and carefully try and push this in. Hmm. And it went in. Well that is a good sign. It is. It is indeed. So now Looking around, everything looks to be there. So, I guess um, we need a we need a power supply, and perhaps the. sort of assembly that would hold such a thing. So yeah. Okay, so here I, I never liked the location of the floppy drive thing. It just gets in the way. And you probably can't see that very well, neither can I. slide this into position, trying not to hurt the ribbon cable. Why is it not sitting nice? Why is it not sitting nice? Probably because of the ribbon cable, maybe. Oh, okay. So that is sitting nice. And now, bring in the power supply. We are not going to spend a whole lot of time fastening these in, because really, I have a good idea of what's going to happen. Well, I don't have a good idea. I have an idea. And I'm not thinking there's going to be any smoke or anything. Oh. But you never know. So, we have... The power supply is secure. Well, not secure, but it's plugged in. Oh yeah, there's corrosion on the back of this board. Oh dear. 
I have a bad feeling this is probably just a waste of time. But anyway, we have the power connector onto the board, we have the disk drive thing, um, driven cable onto the board. Um, there's not much else to do. Except turn it on and see that it doesn't work. It could work. But it will not. I just hope nothing bad happens. So. Counting down. Three, two, one, power. Power supply is spinning. The fan is anyway. The disk drive is making no noises. The screen is not flashing. But Sheldon is back. I have a cat named Sheldon, did you know? Hi, Sheldon! How are you doing? Hi! Oh, Sheldon. Oh, this is really not the best time, but okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, Sheldon. So, Sheldon, I'm just... Let's go... Oh, <clears throat> Sheldon. Hang on. We're not doing well here. Okay, there. Um... Yeah, you remember, Sheldon. There, Sheldon. Okay, okay, hold on there. There we go. So, um, this Amiga is doing much as I suspected, which is nothing. So, it seems we're now going to become scavengers. Oh, hello. Hello, Sheldon. Four chips. Okay, Sheldon, I gotta carry on with this Amiga here. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I have to carry on with this. You want to say hello? You want to say hello to the people? You want to say hello to the Yes, I oh. know. I know, Jeff. Okay, there you go. Nice, Sheldon. Okay, so Sheldon, if you would, hello, if you would just let me carry on with this, I'll be done real soon. Because this Amiga is not working. It's just not. It's not. It's not working. Okay, Sheldon, I'm going to put you down. Very gently. Gently. There you go. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I'm going to get the brush to you, Sheldon. Okay, thank you. Okay, Sheldon. So, as this had a, has now had a moment to warm up, I'm going to turn it off. Hi, Sheldon. I just need a few minutes. I'm going to turn it back on and just see if anything else changes. No, you can't get up here, Sheldon. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can stretch out. There you go. Okay, so much as I suspected, we are in the recovery operation. Okay. So, make sure that can... So, reach up late and carefully. Oh, boy, they sure made this power connector to stay. Okay. So, by the way, I did have that in the right. Yeah, I did. Okay. Double checking that I had the the video output plugged in, and I did. Okay, so, yeah, the power supply is out. I'm going back. Yeah. Oh dear. Somebody is calling. And now this, we pull out. And remove the ribbon cable from the dis floppy disk drive controller that is on the board. So, we're back to the board. And I'm not sure 
maybe if I tilt this up a bit, I can get a view of what's up here. And what's up here is um, filth. So I, as I said, I'm not surprised it didn't work. The first thing I'm going to do is rescue the 68,000 chip. I am as gently and carefully as possible. Well, I push the screwdriver way down. And sometimes I will come back from, oh, from this side to try and prevent pins from being bent. And I think we've done a pretty fine job there. So, I am going to get this Amiga 500 back up here, and without further ado, sorry, I'm not sure you can see this, but I've got to make sure I do this right. Line everything up, push it in, and it is in, and just... Because I'm worried that something has gone amiss. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Here, from underneath here, comes the power supply cord for the Omega 500. And is it plugged in? I think it is. So, just a moment. We can set this down in here. I think it fits pretty nicely. And I will get, I will get, I will. Oh, there's the video cable. It's still in the Omega 2000. Okay, so let's just turn this on. And, excellent, we have done no harm. Um, this still is coming up, it has 2.0 ROMs in it, and it is asking for workbench. So, we have done no harm. Alright, so now I think it is time for me to take a little break and think about my next move in the uh, harvesting operation. So, I'm gonna come around, turn off the close-up camera, and 